So like clockwork, Anthony Davis got hurt and he's out for the season. Uh, he landed real awkward and fell down, you know, just seems to be, you know, people call him street clothes. They give him nicknames. Just can't stay healthy. It's really a shame, too, because this cat has top five talent. He should easily be right there with Jokic and uh, Joel Embiid, you know, running for MVP and a great player, but he just can't stay healthy. The cat just has never been able to stay healthy. You know, it's a trip when you are got that kind of level of skill set, but you just, the breaks. And anyway, the question is, and I had already thought about this way back. I thought this before the season started. He's the only asset that the Lakers got to trade. Yeah, not nobody wants Russell Westbrook. Come on now. That's not going to happen. You could basically trade him for uh, hot dogs and beans right now and some Lay's potato chips and some and some Hawaiian punch, and that's about it. Ain't nobody want him. The Lakers have nothing else nobody wants. Carmelo was old. And he's just stat pad now. Dwight Howard is flexing. He has spurts, but Dwight Howard can't really give you much like that. LeBron is playing great for how old he is and how long he's been around, but he is crazy. It's stat padding because they still only a ninth seed team. And at best, in that 79 playing tournament, they're not a good team. So his stats don't offset how bad the team is, his defense, etc. So it's really all for not. So when you start to look around with what they got, they ain't got a terrible lot. AD is the only person that they could move that could give them hope for the near future and for the post-LeBron team era because they got to start thinking LeBron retires or gone, they're going to be irrelevant for a long time. They don't have any pieces there that say, hey, we can run this the next three or four years. And they sure as heck ain't better than seeing no Phoenix. They're not seeing Golden State. They're not even really going to see the Timberwolves. The Timberwolves are playing that together. And they even begin to talk about Memphis. So that's, they're, they're, they're going to, and I didn't even mention Dallas, who I see coming up. Luka's going to get another piece. Utah, they got to make a move to support, to support Donovan Mitchell. Actually, truth requires is kept. If you could swap, but no way they would go for this. But if you could swap Rudy Gobert to the Lakers, for Anthony Davis, you put Anthony Davis with Donald Mitchell, Utah suddenly becomes a real intriguing team. But Gobert doesn't play enough, but he'd be enough to stay healthy as a defense stopper. But that's far fetched. No one would think of that, would they? But anyway, Anthony Davis, though, it's already looking like he's, you know, they got as much as they could get out of him. They got the bubble ring, and I don't know if it's going to get better than that, but he's the only one that could give you some assets. But anyway, give me your thoughts and takes. Do you think the L.A. Lakers should trade Anthony Davis or just let him sit there and hope that he can play at least half the season from the years to come? He said that like, subscribe, we're going to talk to comments, and I do respond. Thank you. Wash your hands. Keep your mind clear. Watch out for another. And um, Andrew's been a part of this cat because this dude, it's just that the health can't ain't there. You know, physically it ain't there. Skill set, though, what a waste. I'm out.